Hey guys, welcome back to Bowls Fan TV. And today we're doing a video on the, uh, this morning's news that Alan Reynolds has officially been appointed as the new Bowls manager. Um, yeah, it was one that we were all expecting. Obviously, the news came out last week, back end last week, that um, that he, he was going to be our new manager, and then it's it's been confirmed this morning. He's due to take training tomorrow. Also, have his first press conference tomorrow ahead of um, not Friday's game against Rovers and Talent, but um. Just get into what, what he has to say about it. So the club put out a statement saying, uh, Bayman FC has now confirmed the appointment of Alan Reynolds as, as manager of the, of the men's first team. The Waterford man 49 will take training for the first time tomorrow morning. We'll have his first press conference manager tomorrow at the and will take charge of the team for the for first time on Friday's SSA or Tristy Men's Premier League game away to Shamrock Rovers. Reynolds comes to the Mount Park with a wealth of coaching and managerial experience in the League of Ireland. Most recently, as assistant manager of Waterford, from, from whom he joins at an international level, where he also uh, has been assistant manager at the Jim Crawford with the Ireland under 21s for the past four years. So, this is what Alan Reynolds had to say. Uh, on becoming our new manager. Um, this is a massive club with, uh, with a passionate fan base. It's a massive challenge, but it's, it's the right one for me and at the right time, and I can't wait to get cracking. Straight away, when the contact was made, I was very interested. Over the past few years, I've had different opportunities to get back into management. This one, or, but this is one that feels right. Uh, this is a huge, there's huge potential here when Bowles teams give this fans to share about the club supporters or electric and make it a real hostile atmosphere for opponents both home and away. I went to the Aviva Stadium when Bowles were on a European run in 2021. There were 8,000 Bowles fans at the game because of COVID, but it felt like there was 30,000 that, that, and that, uh, that has always stuck with me. The fans were unbelievable and the team responded. That's what we want to achieve here. Over the years, I've been involved in, in the league. It has been the same daily mount. When you're out on the pitch preparing for a game, you can feel the energy of the place and that is something that any players should thrive off. So, yeah, obviously good rewards from him there. He, he seems, um, you know, very excited by the opportunity. Very, um, you know, he, he's obviously talking about the club in, in very good terms there. Um, as you'd expect, you know, obviously he's not going to say anything bad about the club. You know, he's only in, in his first sort of interview as manager. But look, um, yeah, he seems he seems very, very you know, he's looking forward to get uh, to getting going. Obviously, um. He talks about the the sort of atmosphere around Daily Mount. You know, you can really feel it. Um, you know, any player, any manager, you know, can really feel it. Even you know, home, home, home or away, really. You know, fans are. I've always been very supportive. Um, and you know, even even this season when even if it's not been so great, we we've, we've continued to, to be right behind the player as you can see that. You know, in in, in every game. Um, <clears throat> he also says here um about the the. the team um there's a good mixture of youth and experience in the squad i'm really looking forward to get to getting the very best out of everyone there are obviously injuries to a couple of key players at the moment and keith buckley and rob cornwall but there is a lot to be excited about in this squad and i feel like it can help make them better to work with the likes of uh, talented young players at the club uh, the likes of um James McMahon is James Clark is a real exciting prospect for any manager. They're exciting players, they exciting fans, and they exciting managers. So it's up to me to get, to get in there and improve further. I work with a number of players that club previously too. Jordan Flores at Dundalk, Dale Rooney at Shelburne, James Lacan Tunde at Derry City, and Danny Grant with the order number 21s. So I'm looking forward to getting cracking, assessing the squad, assessing the staff, and seeing where we can improve. Derek Penn and Trevor Crotty leading the team for the for the last game against Derry City, he got an important win against a good side. So we know where the uh, know where there are players here who are. So we know there are players who are capable. They they were very well organised. We want to build on that. It's very early days. I'm looking forward to getting in and working with the team now. They will work that is for sure. We cannot leave any stone unturned to get this club to where to where we want to be. So that means up in the ante in everything we do, our players will be fully committed. It will be twenty four seven. It will be full on. So obviously, look, he, he wants to go in there and make an instant impact. And I feel like he can. You know, we we we've, we talked about this before. Uh, when we were discussing potential candidates. No, he's very experienced. He, you know, he's been in the league a number of years now as, you know, as, as an assist manager at a few clubs, as, as a first team coach at, at, at others as well. Um, I think with Waterford, wasn't it? We, we, we had three years there, three pretty successful years where he got them out of the first division, got them a, a far place finish in his first season. Um, and yeah, he, he did a, he did an overall good job there. And look, since that, you know, he's he's got even bigger roles. You know, he he was the um, the assistant manager of the order under twenty ones for four years. You know, you, you know, you're you're not a, you know you're not mug of a coach if you're not if you're getting that kind of role. You know, to be developing you know talented young players from not just within Ireland but across in in, in the UK as well at, at, at big clubs. So, yeah, look, I'm I'm okay with it. Um, you know, obviously, look, I think with with with, with um all the rumors that were 
going around about Stephen Kenny. I think maybe some are disappointed that's not him. Look, I never really thought that was realistic. Um, but look, I think I think Reynolds for me, I think he'll do. I think he'll do well. Um, I think he has the the uh, the endeavor. The, the ability as a manager to go, to go in and make an instant impact on the players. He's obviously got a very tough game on Friday, but I'm sure he'll be, he'll be relishing that challenge. Um, You know, you couldn't have asked for you know a, a better game to win the fans over uh, in, in a Dublin derby. If you get a win there, then he's off to an absolute flyer, isn't he? So, yeah, look, this is what... um. I think this is what Pat Fenlon had to say. This is what, um, we'll get on to that in a minute, but this is what you have to say about the, the game against Rovers on Friday. Uh, when you talk about football, Dublin Derby is what you'd call a real game in this league. They are they are games you want to be involved in, so I'm really looking forward to it. There massive a but we have to, there, there will be a massive crowd, but we will have a big crowd behind us too. We'll need to stick. They will need. We will need them to stick with us, and I have no doubt they will. So obviously, he's he's very much looking forward to to, to, to that challenge on Friday. So this is what uh, Pat Fenlon had to say. We are delighted to bring Alan to the club. He's a very high, uh, highly respected throughout the league for his ability as a coach and manager throughout his career as a as a manager and as a coach. Alan has shown a consistent ability to get the very best out of players and to help teams fulfill their potential. So we are delighted to have him on board. It's right time for Alan and it's the right time for the club. I've worked with Alan in the past. He, he played under me when I was a manager at Shelburne and worked very well together as manager and director of football at Waterford as well. So I know the qualities and drive he brings to to, to teams and I'm and we are really looking forward to getting started here. So obviously we, we spoke last time out about that uh, relationship he has with, with, with Pat Fell and uh, Alan Reynolds. You know, uh, they worked together as a um, you know, when Alan Reynolds was manager of Waterford, Pat then was the was the, uh, the director of football there at the time, and and they worked quite well together. They got a few shrewd players in the door. I think you know, you, know, we, you think back to that Waterford team, got players like Bastian Harry, um, Cart Dilf, um, a few other lads from abroad came in as well and did quite well. So you know, they, they, they'll obviously be um, you know, well aware of their qualities, and, and I think that that could help us as well. You know, obviously. We, we sort of saw towards the end of Declan Devine's time at the club that maybe was, it, what did him and Pat Phelan have a great relationship? Probably not. But I think this time around, you know, Phelan has brought in a manager that, that's his man. Obviously, we know that he was sort of leading the process of appointing a new manager and he's obviously turned to somebody he knows well and Alan Reynolds. Um, and hopefully, you know, they're, you know, you know that they sort of, um, you know, rekindled now their relationship. Um, you know, we can we can start you know bringing in some players and you know through the door that both of them want and both of them can agree on. Um, and you know we can we can start moving forward. So yeah, that that's what Pat Fennan had to say. Anyway, this is what um Bahamian FC president Matt Devaney had to say on behalf of the board. I'm delighted to welcome Alan to the club. The club has invested heavily in recent years to allow us to continue to 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 compete in what what has become an extremely competitive league, securing first class range cities in DCO in 2021, building a raw field structures and moving the men's first team uh, to full-time football last season. We believe that the considerable experience and drive that Alan will bring to the role, that he is the right person to help us push forward and build on those strong foundations. So, obviously, the club um feel the same way about, you know, Reynolds, that, that Fenland do, you know, he... Um, He's a manager that can come in and, and make an instant impact and uh, bring the team forward. You know, obviously the club has gone through a great period of transition, you know, going from part-time football to full-time football, um, getting that facility in DCU. You know, we're, we're really starting to build forward now to that new, uh, new daily mount that will be coming in the next few years. So hopefully Alan Reynolds is the man to bring, bring us to that new, new daily mount, um, you know, we obviously didn't work out for Devine. We all we all kind of thought early on that he was going to be the man to bring us forward into that new daily mount, but obviously it didn't work out that way. You feel now that we we got an experienced coach um in, in the dugout now and Alan Reynolds who knows how to get the best out of teams, um has shown before that he's he's managed to get, you know, good results from, you know, few resources. I'm, I'm not saying that we have that we not that, you know, we've got few resources, but it always, you know, shows that he you know that, that manager, you know, who, who knows how to get the most out of the least, is, 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 is you know, is a strong character, is an experienced coach, um, has the right credentials and, and, and all of that. So, yeah, look, <clears throat> overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, you know, I know, I'm, you know, a lot of people have been discussing this saying, well, you know, is it a bit of a soil where it's appointment to, to the void? And look, I, I, well, you know, those concerns are maybe valid. I think you've got to get, give him a chance, you know, he, he's only just in the door this morning, he's, you know, he's not even took a training session yet, that'll be coming tomorrow morning, Um, so look, we'll see how he gets on, he's got a very tough game of course, Um, coming up on Friday, but look, I'm sure 
he'll 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 have the players working hard for those couple of days before the game. He'll you know have a little he'll have you know few time to put a plan in place. But look, his experience. We've talked about this. You know he he knows how to get a team organized. You know we've seen that at Waterford when it, when you know they were only on the come up. You know they'd only start rebranded to Waterford FC after the war after Waterford United, and he got them up from the from from the first division very quickly and established them as a, as a as a decent for a Premier Division team. Um. You know, you see in what he said there. You know, he's he's obviously very committed to getting the team forward. You know, he's going to come. In, he said, you know, they'll, they'll be at it twenty four seven. It'll be full throttle. You know, they'll be working hard, and, and and that's what you want to see. You want to see a manager who he wants to stamp his authority in straight away. Um, you know, wants to put an ethos in there to you know to get the players working hard, put his soil in place, and, and look, let's see where that takes. Us. Look, he, he has a very tough task in his hands on Friday, but look, if, if he was to get a win there, that'd be a, a really, really good way to get the fans on side straight away. So look, Alan Reynolds, new manager, I'm okay with it. I think he'll do okay. Um, but look, let us know in the comments what you think. Do you think it's the right appointment? Are you happy with it? Um, and yeah, that's that's the end of it really. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment down what you think what you what you think about the appointment and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.